All right, guys, what we have here is a five pound package of waffle mix from the Huddle House, which is our local area version of a pancake house, uh, International House of Pancakes. Uh, what's the other ones called around the world? No, I can't think right now, but yeah, you get the idea. This is five pounds of mix. It costs six bucks. And there is enough in here for it makes 34 waffles so you do the math there it's probably like 50 cents a waffle or something to that effect anyway what I'm gonna do it's way too much for us to have open at one time so I'm going to subdivide it into five different bags and uh, you know uh, vacuum seal them and uh, put an instruction manual on each one. It says put five eggs in this whole bag. So with five different packages of this, be one egg per thing and it'll work out swell. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. So here's the setup. Got the uh, waffle mix laid out there on a piece of mylar. So I don't make a mess all over the countertop. Got the vacuum sealer set up over here. And Waffle House was the name of the other place I was trying to think of. But, uh, and it just came to me, so I thought, yeah, I better throw that in there before I forget again. All right, so now I just gotta bag these up, vacuum seal them, and uh, yeah. And I took a photograph of the instructions so I can photocopy, uh, I can print out a label to put on each bag. That way we won't forget and it'll be easy to know when we get ready to make them. Let me try to get you in the shot so you can see me do this one time. I've already pulled my bag out and sealed one in and shoveled the waffle batter in there. Slipping that down in there in the vacuum slot there. Shut the lid. Seal the door. The lights come on. Hit vacuum and seal. done vacuuming, now it's sealing, and now it's done sealing, unlock it, open her up, and voila, look at that man, that's awesome huh, you have to forgive me, I'm playing with this thing because I bought this for Pat back at the holiday, and we've only used it one time, this is the second time we've ever used it. And so we're really not familiar with it enough to know anything about it, you know what I mean? It even came with this little handheld unit. Now these are just tubes. These go all the way through. It's just a big tube. And you gotta seal one end of it which it actually seals it right here, not in the vacuum tube. So I'm experimenting, trying to see what I can get away with as far as getting the seal close to the edge. Oh, I don't need it to vacuum, I just need it to seal. Anyway, let me show you this thing. They also gave us, it's done sealing already. They gave us this thing, and this is like a charger base for this handheld vacuum pump, which I haven't figured that out yet. It comes with this Tupperware like looking thing that has a rubber flapper on the lid. And I think it has special bags that you gotta put inside the Tupperware thing and it vacuums the air out of them. And then I don't really know. Like the, va the bags are already sealed but somehow you gotta put whatever you're sealing in there. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out and get back to you. Might as well let you see how I'm doing this. I couldn't figure out a better way to do it, so I'm just using a big old barbecue spatula, like a shovel. And I'll tell you what, guys, the reason we're actually doing this instead of just going to the store and buying 
something this quick or something like that is because this stuff is delicious. I wish you could smell it right now. It smells like cake. You don't associate waffles. I mean, it's a bread product, yeah, but it literally smells like, and it tastes like cake. Best waffles I ever had in my life. That's why the last time we were down there, this little joint is like 20 miles away. So whenever we go to that town, we usually stop and have breakfast there. And the last time we were there, we asked them if it was possible to get some of this batter. And by chance that day, they had some. But it's not something they offer proactively. We asked about it one time before, they said they did, it was like on a Friday or Saturday. And they said they didn't have enough to get them till the next week when the truck came. So they couldn't do it that time, but they were able to do it this last time. So, yeah, that's what this, this, that's what this is all about. And uh, this is more than we'll eat in a year's time. So, yeah, we're just trying to make it, and the dogs are loving it. Every time I spill a little bit, they, they run up there and see if they can lick it up, you know? <laughs> Oh, anyway, I'm going to quit babbling here. I'm just going to finish this up. And, uh... I keep making these smaller and smaller because I keep getting this big old extra thing. And it's just trash. It's just waste. And you have to buy these things by the roll. And they're not cheap, really. I mean, they're not terribly, terribly expensive. But they don't give that away either. You know, that's how they... They sell these. I got a heck of a deal on this, is, by the way. I found this. Pat had been saying she wanted one for a long time. So I finally went on the internet and was looking at them and just happened to be that day. They were offering some sort of a, a deal to where if I agreed to let them send me emails, they would give me an additional 10% off whatever I ordered that day. Izzy, look at us, real. Plus, they were having a 50% off sale on some of their merchandise that day already. And so this, that machine by itself should have cost $200 or something like that. And anyway, I ended up getting, my time was all said and done, I got that. That little pink thing I just showed you, the handheld model, was actually a free gift that came with my purchase because of the spe special they were having that day. And uh, I got an extra roll of bags and an extra roll of tubes. And the whole thing cost 100 bucks. I think it was like $100.50 or something like that. It was just like, wow, really? That was good. And, uh, of course, Pat was happy. She wasn't as happy as if I bought her a new diamond, but she was happy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably boring you to tears at this point. Anyway, you get the idea. And, uh, just want to share it with you a little bit. I wish you guys could taste these things, they're awesome. I know we've got a waffle maker around here somewhere, but I haven't seen it in a long time. But this house is so small compared to where we moved from that we've never, we've lived here like, this is probably our third year living here, or maybe longer, I don't even remember. But we still have stuff downstairs that we've never unpacked because the house we moved from it was more of a ranch style house and it didn't have a basement but it had the rooms were bigger and we had more we had more space and so yeah 
we've got boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff downstairs that we've never unpacked since we've lived here. And once in a while, we'll find ourselves down there digging through them, trying to find this thing or that thing, and find a colossal painting the keister, because we know we actually need, if we're not using that stuff, it's been two years, we probably don't need it, you know? So, we'll probably do well to have a yard sale and get rid of a bunch of that crap. But then, just like right now, if I wanted to make waffles, I'd have to go down there and find that thing, I'm sure that's probably where it is. And you know how it is when you start going through your old boxes of stuff? Oh yeah! No, I don't want to get rid of that, you know. You know how that is. So, so I don't look. <laughs> I know I know there's boxes of stuff down. I've got tools down there. I've got boxes and tubs, plastic tubs, full of tools down there. I know one of them's got a Dremel set in it, brand new Dremel set. But I've got one in the shop that I use. So I'm just saving that one in case I ever need a backup, you know? That kind of thing. And this kitchen is so small. That's why I'm doing this on the stove. Because our countertop is just too small. By the time I get the bags out and the boxes, they all come in and all this stuff out, the countertop's full over there. So, and you know, it's like, really? But we moved here in a hurry so we could be closer to our job. We didn't take a lot of time researching and finding a house that was actually big enough for us. I'll show you. <laughs> All right, cheers, you guys. Thanks for coming by. Waffles. Mm. All right. I'm going to see if I can make sense of this while we're at it, while we're on this discussion, this topic. Here on the top of this thing is a port where you can stick it like a piece of aquarium tubing down in there. And I believe that that runs over and attaches to this which here is the little Tupperware thing I was telling you about. And it's got this little rubberware flapper. I think you can see it there. Well, it matches up to that. And I think what it does is it draws the vacuum out of this particular Tupperware piece. And it's like you can probably buy these individual and add them to your Tupperware Rubbermaid container pile of stuff and there is a inside there is a package of the tubing as I just mentioned with a couple of little adapters on it which I don't understand that I guess that's so that you can plug it in to both ends of this and the machine okay now that now that I've actually taken a moment and looked at this it comes with these baggies too and they're like Ziploc kind of. It even tells right on there there's pictures. I don't know how well this will show up. But here's a picture of somebody stuffing a sandwich in the bag. So it's got like a Ziploc thing, it opens up. And then it shows you sealing it like you would a Ziploc bag. And then it shows you losing this little handheld device, this thing over here. And you stick it down right there. If you see right here inside that circle, you can see some perforated lines where there's a square and a circle. And I believe the way this would work, I'll try to get this in the camera, where you can see what I'm trying to show you. Anyway, you just would stick that on there like that. And I suppose hold it down firmly. 
and push the trigger, which of course is not going to do anything right now because I don't have it charged up, and it would vacuum the air out of this Ziploc baggie. So, shoot, that wasn't hard. I just had to look at it. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm out of here. That's my food saver demonstration and waffle mix conglomeration. Yeah. 35 divided by 5 is what? 7? So each one of those packages should make about 30, 7 waffles. That's not bad. One egg, a little bit of water. That's more than Pat and I'll eat at any one given time anyway. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. Well, actually, I'm not out of here, but you are. I got to clean this mess up, but you guys got to go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. You know what I was just thinking? I could probably use that little handheld thing to vacuum bleed my brake lines. I just might have to check that out. <laughs> See ya. Oh man, I am liking this thing. Yeah, buddy.